Coming up on week number two of the high school sports show, we're spinning, we're jumping, we're dancing, and we're getting fired up. I know you can win tonight. Now get out there and prove it! The Inquirer High School Sports Show. Today's show is brought to you by Burger King. Hello there, everyone, and welcome inside the spacious Fox Philadelphia studios for week number two of the Inquirer High School Sports Show. I'm your host, Mike Sklute, and I hope you brought your appetite to the TV set this morning because, as always, we have a plate full of high school action to show you. We begin today's show with our featured student athlete, who is also the featured running back in the state of Pennsylvania this year, Downingtown's Arlen Harris. Now, for those of you who follow high school football in this area, the last name Harris should ring a bell because just three years ago, Arlen's older brother, Aaron, who is currently the starting fullback at Penn State, was the sports show's player of the year. But this is not a story about comparing the two brothers because that would be impossible and unfair to both of them, almost as impossible as trying to stop Arlen Harris. <laughs> can't stop him. He's going to get his yardage. But he's that good. You just have to make sure he doesn't break the 60, 70, 80 yard runs against you. He's so strong that he won't go down with one guy. You, you got to gang tackle him and just hope you get him before he gets started. If there's one coach who knows the difficulties of trying to stop Arlen Harris more than any other, it's Jack Helm for the past three years as head coach of Coatesville, had the impossible mission of trying to stop Harris twice a season. But now, after a bizarre summer, which saw Helm come here to Downingtown, and John Barr, the man who led the Whippets to a state title last year, moving to Coatesville, Helm has gone from an opposing coach trying to contain Harris to the man who wants to call his number every down. I think I'll be able to sleep a little bit better on uh, Thursday nights before Friday night game. The kid is just tremendous. It's going to be a, a, an interesting experience being able to coach the kid rather than trying to stop him, because trying to stop him was almost impossible. After a junior year in which he helped Downingtown to a state title, ran for over 2,000 yards, and scored 30 times, the 5-foot, 10-inch, 195-pound Harris vaulted to the top of the blue chip recruiting class for 1998. Ranked among the best 10 running backs in the country, Harris is as entertaining as he is successful. When we were in the stands, we would just laugh just to see how he would maneuver and everything on the field. That surprised me in that I didn't know that he could move like that. I knew that he had the ability to be a good uh, football player, but uh, his style was just so uh, amazing and entertaining. And one lady said, I took dance lessons. I still can't move like he can move. You know. But as effortlessly as Harris makes carrying a football seem, academics has not come as smoothly. Although he is a solid student, Harlan is now ready to take his studies to the next level. In my family, we stress a lot of the academic part because the football will um, take care of itself. And um, I'm trying as best as I can to get my grades up. And I think we'll all someday will fall into place, especially before college. So I think this senior year coming up is going to be a very important year for me, for, um, academically and football. Within the last year, I have seen much more maturity in him. And he is sitting down and, and, and hitting the books real good and, and trying his best and making an effort. So I think adversity for him, even like on the football field, makes him uh, exert more energy, more effort. But um, I think that's the, what, that's the way you have to be in life. You can't be just, if you're satisfied with what you've done, obviously you, you, have, you haven't reached to the top. And I think um, in life, you're always going to be faced with different challenges and changes. And if that's how you take it um, step by step. 
and um, try to reach your goal. Arlen's ultimate goal, like any other high school football player, is to make the NFL. As for the present, just being a solid student and adding one more state championship game ring to his fingers will be just fine. One final note on Arlen, because I'm sure all of you are probably saying right about now, but where is he going to school? Well, calm down, take a deep breath, because Arlen doesn't even know where he's going. Although he has made a short list, which includes Tennessee, Ohio State, Virginia, North Carolina, and Michigan. Sorry, Penn State. Well, stay close, everyone, because we're just getting started here on the Sports Show. Up next, we head back to the gridiron for some highlights from this past weekend, so don't go anywhere.